We are here. We are here. We are here. We are here. To Katie's work, a artist in Sheffield, a physical and learning disabilities. For a period of supported development, the artist collectively chose to future bright, vivid contributions using neon and fluorescent colours. The artist involved felt these colours represented their positivity as a group through using different mediums from textile design to neon glass blowing. Each artist has made a piece which is personal to them. Some pieces boldly explore the tactile and textural nature of materials whilst other artists utilise the opportunity to express feelings through their work which are otherwise challenging to communicate. So I'm Emma and I'm the arts coordinator here at Artworks and I organise all the different art activities that we do here. Um, so we do all sorts from um, providing people with opportunities to, um, to try new things so they can develop their skills as artists um, but also to go and visit other artists to like, gather ideas and all different work placements so they get a taste of lots of different creative environments. Um, so for this project we're working with Block um, to put on an exhibition um, showcasing the work that everyone at Artworks has been working on over the past few months. Um, so they get a chance to exhibit as artists um, and work alongside a professional gallery um, to produce a show. So they've all been working really hard and we've got some amazing work so I'm really looking forward to seeing it all in the exhibition and for everyone at Artworks to go along and see people appreciating their work and what they've done. I want to be painting all my life because when I first started I was like nervous like I thought I did it all on my own and now I want to start again like a new person I want to start painting again so I did it. Um, I'm Kerry, I'm the Public Programs Curator here at Block and I've uh, developed and launched a pilot public programme and that consists of talks, workshops and events and they're all committed to local creative professional development and, and we're really passionate about the work that Artworks have been doing um, providing really incredible high quality arts education to adults with learning disabilities and we wanted to support their objectives, support them in meeting those objectives for integrating their artists and their service users with the wider creative community. So we try to, to let the artists really decide what they wanted to do and base it on the things that they're interested in. Um, so we've had all sorts of different things happening. Elliot, um, one of the artists, he, when he first came, he was really interested in looking at really bright um, light pieces which are made with, with neon or using photography to, to capture really bright, vivid light. So um, we took him down to an exhibition in Wakefield at Neon Workshop and he just loved it and was like right this is what I want to do um, and so we managed to organise for him to go and make his own piece of neon um, and he's produced a sculpture using that. Turned out well. That is actually he's been able to do this. And... Well, one weekend we went to uh, <laughs> Clee Forks. Oh, yeah. And then we sit back, like we saw someone dropping um, this one on the corner and we left it. You didn't think that was right? No. Explain what it was like when you first. Started it. it were just 
blue and brown, yellow coloured sand, and then just put lots of yellow in it. It's gradually brightened up. Yeah, brightened up and built up with all these different bits and pieces. Here at Block, we're really passionate about supporting the careers of underrepresented artists in the city. We're really grateful to Artworks and everything that their talented artists have contributed to the exhibition. And I look forward to seeing how this partnership continues to develop in the future. <laughs>